In today's video, we are building a $7,000 modern summer house in Blocksburg. So let's get right into touring before we start building. Okay, so this is our house. So I really like the colors together. I think that they look super nice. And we have some plants, obviously, for the summer. And we have some lights, we have some lamps so we can actually see. I really like these windows too. I think they look nice like this. It looks like they're kind of combined. I don't know, I think that's cool. And this is a door with two windows, which I think looks nice because it looks like it's a whole set, like an entire door you know <laughs> i don't know this is our like outdoor garage so you can park your car under this roof and then it won't get rained on which is a good thing that's pretty much what we have and i think it looks pretty nice so far so we are going to start building so get comfy get a snack we are going to get right into it and please let me know if you'd like to see an interior it'll have a bedroom a bathroom a kitchen and a dining area and a living room all the necessities that you need in a house so let's get started building Okay, so this is our layout, and as you can see, game passes are off, so we're going to begin by placing the pillars first. That way, we can actually place pillars in our walls. So we're going to use the plain pillars, and we're just going to color them white with the plain, smooth plastic. So place them in each corner, and then once all the pillars are placed, we'll begin to place the walls and then color those. Okay, so now let's grab the walls. So we're going to place two walls right here, and we're going to color them a shade of brown. I'm going to use this custom color because I really, really like it. You can use whatever color you'd like, though, like pine cones, nice, and then we're going to use wood grain and then we're going to color the interior wall ghost gray and then once that wall is placed you're going to copy it over here and then copy it around this side of the house we're not going to place it over here though because that's going to be a different colored wall and yeah so that's pretty much it over here it's going to be like an outdoor garage kind of thing so i think that's going to look cool and right here we're going to place three walls and we're going to color it white with the sand material and then color the interior wall ghost gray and then just place that over here okay now we're going to grab one more pillar we're going to grab this plain thin pillar and we're going to place it right here in this corner and we're going to color it the same as our wall color so we're going to place the roof so we are going to grab the flat roof to begin and we are going to place it over this part of the roof right here then you can raise it up a bit and then extend it out a little and then you could color it i'm probably just going to color it white and then you can grab that roof place it right here so we're gonna like overlap this other roof and then you can raise up a bit. So we're just adding some like extra detail. And then you can color this back roof the same as the wall color. Over here, we're gonna grab the slanted roof. This is gonna cover the outdoor garage kind of area. So place it right there and then you can raise it up a bit and recolor. And then back here, we're just gonna grab the flat roof again and then just color this hole and that's it. Now we can grab windows. So we're gonna use this medium panel window and then we're gonna color it white with a beige hue so it looks like there's some light so now we're gonna grab this small panel window and then place it over here and we're gonna move it over next to the pillar more just so that it looks like the windows are kind of combined and then over here we're gonna grab this large panel window and place it just like that and then color it yeah now we're gonna grab a door so we're gonna use this modern reveal door we are going to color it white and then we're gonna color the brown that we've been using so whatever shade of brown you've been using then we're gonna grab two more windows i promise this is it for the windows this thin clear window and then we are just going to color the same as the other windows and then just move it next to the door and then you can copy that window and place it on the other side of the door so now we can grab wall trim we're going to grab this flat crown molding and then just place it all around now we're going to grab this flat baseboard and then place it on bottom of the house and that's pretty much it for the exterior so now i'm going to grab a floor so i'm going to place it over here this is going to be the driveway garage kind of area and then over here will be like a patio and then a walkway to the door so now i'm gonna grab a fence this plain fence and i'm just going to color it white and basically just like outline everything can't really place it over here or over there because of no game passes so we will replace these areas with like flower bushes because who doesn't like flowers so we're gonna grab this blossoming bush because i love using this bush oh where to go and then i'm gonna place that over here as well so this makes up for <laughs> the fence and then you can just place a few pieces of grass around or whatever plants you want to add i like using this natural plant a lot and of course some flowers we have to make it feel like a summer house i'll probably use a lot of seashell that's a really nice color to use in modern builds because it's nothing like too bright all right and then i'm using this spiral hedge tree i use these a lot in my modern builds um yeah they just look nice i think i think they look modern and then i'll place one over here it's never a modern house without these spiral trees <laughs> Okay, I think that's it for plants. I don't want to like overdo it. So I'm just going to grab some stepping stones. Basically just lead up to right here, the garage. I'm going to color them white with bricks. And then I'll grab the smaller ones and do the same thing for the front door. 
<laughs> walkway. All right, we're almost done. We just need some lights now because it's a little, a little hard to see. So I'll probably use this outdoor wall lamp. I'll place one right here and then I'll place one right here next to the door. I think I'm gonna place this clear wall lamp up here on this roof thing because I just think it looks cool and I'm not even gonna recolor it because I think that's a nice color. So yeah, now it's brighter, which is nice. So I think that's it for the exterior. I actually kind of like the way it turned out. I think it's pretty nice. I like the colors together and everything. So please let me know if you'd like to see an interior in part two. I will have that out for y'all in the next video or so. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you like this build. Let me know your thoughts below and i will see you on my next video love you guys bye